College Football Saturday, presented by Kia Zero, welcomes you to Columbia, Missouri, as the number three team of the nation, the Oklahoma Sooners, matches up with the surprising Missouri Tigers. 635 pounds. He runs a 4-3-5-40. He's a player. Well, what's so great about him, the 55 catches last year, that he can get touches in so many different positions. The shovel pitch, the handoff, downfield he goes, and now Hibble running the option. He'll keep it himself, and he'll get a first down. The Missouri 35. They may, may need a measurement, but he's close. J.D. Runnels in the game now for Oklahoma. And make it Kiwan Jones behind him. Hibble going for the bundle, looking for Savage. He's got it to the 10, brought down inside the 5. Well, what Bob Stoops did on that play, Joel, by going over the top, he had decided if it was incomplete, I was going for it on fourth and inches. So he said, I, in my mind, I have a throwaway down, and let's go for the jugular. Good call. And he went down the football field to Savage. Maximum protection, play action fake, freezes the linebackers, freezes everybody. Over the top, we go to Savage. Big play, first and goal, and Bob Stoops saying, you know what? I'm going for the gusto right now because I have confidence in my old line on fourth and inches. No center fielder playing deep to help out Hart. Jones dies. He's in. Touchdown, Oklahoma. The redshirt freshman from Jenks, Oklahoma, Kewan Jones, with the first points of the day. Line machine. Trey DiCarlo, 18 of 19 on point after so far. Makes it a 7 0 lead for the Sooners. There's 65 seconds left in the first 15 minutes of play. The number three team of the nation finds the end zone. Three their first loss, and now Oklahoma with the lead. James and Ferguson back deep. It'll be Marcus James with a short one of the nine yard line. Looking for a wall. Oh, and they can Ferguson instead as he's crossing the 25 and put down at the 28 yard line. Second and 11, two to each side. And Smith now on a double move as a wide open receiver and overthrows Justin Gage. Gage looked like he might have been bumped on the sideline out of bounds. Yep. And then miscalculated by Smith for Perot Field in Columbia, Missouri. It is an absolutely perfect setting, and what a day weather-wise. As the Missouri Tigers get together with the Oklahoma Sooners. Smith with the pocket holding up, now in trouble and overshooting everybody. He takes his shot, Tommy Harris at the end of the play. And it's going to be three and out again for the Tigers. After the pick, so points off the turnover. And it's going to be Torres Ferguson bringing it back to his own six. With blocking up front, but a collapse in a hurry across the 20 to the 22, or Mizzou will have it to start their fifth possession of the game, the first of Dr. Pepper game break. Good matchup right here. Gage on straight. Gage on straight, boundary side of the field. Second, a little more than five. That's a lateral pass. He's blocked for the receiver, and there goes the wide receiver, Marcus James. And it was Darius Outlaw actually on the far side of the field for Missouri first down, but they need to pick up some first downs, even if they can't get points. They need to hold on to the football and give their defense a break. <laughs> now Smith on first and ten, and he's got all day. And he wants to go for the deep ball. He's got Gage and he can't hang on. What a play. Gage on straight again. And Gage found the football before straight did. Underthrown slightly. Gage could not come up with the play. He did everything but catch it. And that's the most important thing to do, obviously. And made a miss in the backfield. Only gets a couple after all is said and done, though. Down to the 26, tripped up by the end Jonathan Jackson and Eric Bassey, the strong safety. So Missouri's got to have a running game. They can't put too much pressure. And they had some success early on the ground, but it's been shut down recently by Oklahoma. And Smith with seven lugs for 55 yards, the leading ground gainer once again, averaging almost eight a pop. For Missouri as Outlaw goes in motion. Here comes the blitz. Underneath, Gage has it. Runs into his own net. Maintains his balance, believe it or not. Gage running through hard tackles and pulled down by straight. Oh, what a play by Justin Gage, and he showed why is the power forward in basketball? I'll tell you, he showed extreme balance and body control there because he was like a human pinball. He got ricocheted, an Oklahoma defender hit him, and then he got rerouted and, and, and righted by his own teammate. 
as he comes inside on, on the receiver screen, he gets he gets popped by Bassey, and then he gets rerouted by his own player that, that sets him down the course of, of the football field properly. And big yards and big play by Gage. And she's gonna you gotta take this field goal and, and cut it to a one-score game. So Mobini trying to put the Tigers saw the board. 26-yard attempt off oh, the end round. I'll tell you, a bad snap, Joel. He's had it. You can see the knuckle yep. ball off it. Inside snap, the holder struggled to get it down in a timely fashion, and Matheny hooked it. The operation wasn't clean. He's got to get it going out of the backfield. Smith on the deeper drop. Uh-oh, trouble. He ducks it off. Fredrickson, he only got a yard for the 25. Good recovery. Now drives. They sent James in motion. Plenty of action to the backfield. Inside the 20. There goes Gage. Will he take an interchange? It is Brad Smith hanging onto the football. What deception to the backfield. Joe, it was the exact same play that, that he ran earlier with Zach Abram coming underneath and him running the quarterback counter. Good blocking on the right side of the offensive line. They pulled the left guard and left tackle, and they escorted him around the corner. Great play. Outside the 25, so a 35-yard extra point try. Another bad snap, but Levini right on target. Yep. I'll tell you, Kirk Farmer has got good hands. Kirk Farmer's making bad snaps makeable. Kids that transferred from Florida, from Georgia, from Alabama. They got a great quarterback. You don't crush teams like that anymore. So one more snap. And that'll do it for a pick-me-up first half for the Missouri Tigers. Let's face it, Missouri came in a huge underdog in this matchup. And they go to the locker room down by only three. And Smith kept his composure. And I'll tell you what, he adjusted to the speed of Oklahoma's defense. He ran the ball out of effectively. And right now, Eric Clemens, our man down on the football field, extraordinaire, by the way, has spoken with head coach of, uh, of Missouri, Coach uh, Pinkle. And what did he have to say, Eric? All right, guy. Thank you very much for that compliment, by the way. Coach Finkel said, hey, listen, in the second half, we cannot let them have big plays offensively. A few too many near misses for Oklahoma in that first half for Coach Finkel's liking. Also, when they get opportunities, they got to take advantage of them against the number three ranked team like they did late in the half when Brad Smith scored on that 25-yard touchdown. Guys? Trey DiCarlo kicks it away, and here we go with the start of the second half. And it's going to be brought back by Marcus James. The little guy across the 20. And then hit from behind as he's down at the 23 in the arms of Clint Ingram. Three in their first four games in the first half. And, and Missouri scored the first touchdown of the season against Oklahoma's defense in that first half. And only down three. That's significant. Now first and ten. Out of the go. And throws it away. Just trying to get it away in the neighborhood of Quentin Griffin. Saragusa also picking his six pack for this weekend's game. Now the quick one, out to Quentin Griffin. And good for two down the line. Actually, it's Trent Missouri, Smith. And it was Trent Smith. Yeah. The tight end over on that side. And actually, he, he lines up uh, in the slot. What they do with him, about, about half the time he lines up as a normal tight end, then a lot of times he'll line up in the slot or as a wide receiver. If you want your kid to grow up to be a receiver, listen up to the football. Oklahoma only three of nine of their third down tries. Missouri stacks the line. Give it on a quick slant, and it's a completion. Taking it in, Curtis Vegan will go the distance. With a 25, he will. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Mizzou gambled, and they were burned. R.J. Jones is the guy that rolled the dice. R.J. Jones went for the interception. What you have to do, if the ball is going to be caught by Fagan, tackle him and limit it right there. Jones went for the football, did not get the football. Fagan caught the football and took it to the house. Big gamble by R.J. Jones. Watch him right here up top. There's Fagan. Watch him go for the football. No, doesn't catch the football, doesn't make the tackle. Off to the races. That's a, that's a big play. You have to give Oklahoma credit. You have to give Fagan credit. Jones took a big risk. Nick Garlow got it through just barely. Almost hooked it. And Oklahoma has some breathing room early in the game or early in the second half. Three and a half minutes gone by in the third. Sooner lead it by ten. In the second half. Griffin to the backfield with Hitler. 
available to Will Peoples, and that's been there all night long. Missouri is giving a 10-yard push in the corner. They are. They're playing it very, very soft. And, and the reason is, in the first half, we saw more than one time they get burned over the top. And they respect the, the speed of the, the Oklahoma wide receivers, so they are giving that big cushion, as you described, Joel, letting Oklahoma catch the football and rally up to it and smack them and see if they can separate receiver from football. Three on the wide side. They'll run it the short side. What speed? 4-3-5 speed. And once he makes the first guy miss in the open field with that elusiveness, he just shifts gears. football possession one foot in bounds did he have possession juggle juggle no no possession I, that's a good call oh, from that that's angle, a good that's call tough to see though it's a good call because he's in smith on the quarterback keeper again with blocker down the clock going for the first down will he get there dives and gets there Pretty strong numbers tonight, but they need close to seven. Looking over to the left side, goes over to the left side. Leon looking for another block, he won't get it. He's shut down to the 20-yard line. So McCoy actually the tight end had in the previous catch. Now Leon does have his first grab, but Derek Strait put him down short by a little more than two. Decision, do you kick or do you, you go for it on fourth? You no. have to field goal and touchdown you need. You're in field goal range. You need two scores. you got to kick the field goal here, and it's so Absolutely. early. It's so early anyway, Dave. Absolutely. you got a quarter in, in, in a minute and 30. I mean, it's a given. To make it a six-point game, a good snap. But then he though, did he block it out? Oh, no, he's got it inside the upright. It's a six-point ball game. He hit the right upright and bounced in. He glanced it off there. Unbelievable. So it turned out to be a chip shot, didn't it? A chip off the bank. Exactly. And this is like billiards. He went off the... Off, uh, he, he called the shot. Off the right upright. And it's just a boink, boink, and it goes <laughs> right right by the right by the old flag up there. What, what, it, it, it's leaking, 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 leaking. Ting in. Ooh, man, that's tight. I'll tell you something. You sound like a video game up here. <laughs> <laughs> so Missouri celebrates with... 10 unanswered points, and they make it a six-point game. 67 seconds left in the third quarter. They don't get another yard at about 42, 43 yards. 
taking the lead. Ten men at the line of scrimmage. He busts it. Everidge overruns it. McCoy has no chance. Smith freezes McCoy and bounces it to the inside the pylon. This kid is whoo, man. <laughs> now, Bovini in the spotlight, and Missouri has the lead. Do you believe it? The Tigers were just down 23-7. With a one point lead for head coach Gary Pinkle. That's Ben. Oh. Well, Missouri jumps. And all of a sudden, now a different voice, a different cadence. Absolutely. Different timing, different voice, different cadence. Kirk Farmer, after he lost the job, he said, All I'm going to do is compete every day in practice and get it back. Kiwan Jones comprising the backfield for Oklahoma. And right now, a chip shot of a field goal for the most part. Second and eight, into the end zone, he goes, and just one of Antoine Savage. R.J. Jones trying to keep up with him. It was available, though. Nate Hibble, third and eight from the Missouri 14-yard line. Pressure on the edge over the middle, and too tall, trying to get it to Curtis Bacon. The man who struggled, DiCarlo, he's missed two field goals and an extra point tonight. All makeable, although last field goal, 43 yards is no gimme. See if he can convert here. For the lead, a 31-yard attempt. He just missed from 43 yards away. Fake. And now the fake into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They went to the tight end. Chris Chester on the score. So Bob Stoops, the gambler. Whoo! Comes through. You know how much courage it takes to do that? I mean, that that is phenomenal. And Bob Stoops is going for two. Doesn't have a choice, leading by five. You know, I, I lost track of the holder. Was the holder McCoy? If the holder was a backup quarterback. Holder Matt McCoy, the junior from Jenks, Oklahoma. Well, I'll tell you, McCoy throws a darn good ball then. Because, you know, usually you see a backup quarterback throw a pass like that. McCoy's the, the normal holder, and then they didn't. They didn't tip their hand with a different holder, and McCoy comes out and throws a strike. Double coverage. I mean, Missouri had good coverage on Chester. Great throw, great catch, and courage by Bob Stoops to call the play. Now the two-point conversion. You've got to believe Quentin Griffin is going to touch the football. He's back there with one all work. Well, they're going to go right here to their big tight end, Trent. Looking for Smith. Back to the end zone. Yes, they find Curtis Bacon for two. Oh, what a job of setting the bank. And then the throw you talked about. Boy, McCoy. I mean, right. Look, there's, there's good coverage, but that is just a perfect throw. I they mean, there's a couple of guys back there. They never located the ball, though. No, they didn't. They it, really didn't turn around and look at the football. But but the coverage wasn't terrible, and McCoy throws a nice ball. I mean, that, that I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I mean, you have you have bracket coverage on that, and, and they get it done. You have you have Kenny and, and, and you have King in coverage, and McCoy throws a strike, and the two-point conversion along the back of the uh, the end zone, just doing the tightrope back there is Fagan. They ran a little double-crossing pattern, and Trent Smith went underneath, and Fagan crossed behind him, and it was on the back line for a two-point conversion, seven-point game. And look at the congratulations McCoy is getting. That is one huge play for that nickel defensive back slash quarterback. He's slash. For Oklahoma. Clock running against Missouri. And Smith again with the lane closing. He's got about seven on that carry, and they need to call, they need to call a timeout. They finally do. But boy, they wasted some time. 62 seconds to play. Still, with two timeouts on the board, that's an eternity. Maybe they just don't want to give Oklahoma the ball back. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I agree with you. I think they're trying to score with as little time left as possible. And that's all. 
that's all well and good, but if you try to take it, be too cute with it, it can backfire on you, and, and you, you might not have enough time to run plays even with timeouts in your possession. So, But this is a, you talk about growing up fast. How much pressure is this kid facing right now? 209 yards rushing against Oklahoma. This isn't, you know, <laughs> Troy State. A new Missouri quarterback record against the Sooners defense, which is outstanding. We talked about the Sooner team speed. Brad Smith said, what speed? You know, I mean, I, he, this guy's operating at warp speed. You know, Missouri's got it. Second and short. Second and four. They put him down to the 44. Out of the gun where he's been so successful. He's got a wall to the right side. Over the middle and through the hands of the tight end, Fredrickson. Teddy Lehman in the back of the tight end. I'll tell you right now, I don't know how much I take the ball out of his hands. They had a wall and a seal over to the near side. Right side of the field, he could have run for 15 yards easy. That's true. And, and once again, remember in college football, the clock stops when you generate a first down. So they still have two timeouts remaining. But they only have two seconds. snaps now. F right, 58 seconds on the clock. And so what we were talking about, being judicious with the use of timeouts, you can almost play a two cute. They need four yards and two snaps. Smith looking underneath. Now going and throwing a low percentage pass behind Sean Coffey, the redshirt freshman. So it's down to one snap for Missouri in college football. Nope. So now the Tigers are ready to go. They do have one timeout remaining, trailing 31-24. Can Smith do it again? Here comes the extra man up on the rush over the middle. Oh. Too high for Sean Coffey. And he was wide open with room to move. Was Derek Straight ever? was beaten on the pattern. And he's 6'6". Six, six, and Straight's 5'11". And man, he, oh boy, that was that was close. And it's hard to overthrow 6'6", six six, but it happens. All over. And Oklahoma escapes a quarterback they've got to deal with for three more years. So that'll do it. The number three team of the nation, the Oklahoma Sooners, prevail by seven. And as Dave Latton just said, it's because of the guts of Bob Stoops that he had that much to go for and gamble like he did on the fake field goal.